Icy, and I'm back with another video. You guys, today's video, I know it's been long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no excuse. None. But I know it's been some time, and I'm back. And today, we are going to tap into some black owned skincare. So, y'all, anybody that knows me knows I love skincare. Like, I feel like more than makeup, I love skincare. Like, I just love it. Like, my friends know, my cousins know, my family know, my coworkers know. Everybody knows that that's my thing. Like, I just kind of accumulate skincare to like luxury, like not luxury, but it's a pamper. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like, I, I don't know. I just like to take care of myself. And I find it really pampers. It's kind of like having your own at home, like spa day. You know what I'm saying? But every day, really, because it really does matter what you put on your skin. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to talk about today. And I'm really excited because I just, I love skincare. I love the serums. I love the mask. I love the moisturizer. And y'all know I talk about this all the time. I'm a dry skin girl. All right. One day when I start feeling comfortable talking about my insecurities, we'll talk about it. But one of them is my dry skin. So when I look for skincare, I make sure like skincare that's um, really heavily focused on moisturizing, you know, like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, things like that. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and top, um, hop right into this video because I'm talking too much. <laughs> so if you guys are new here, hi, what's up? My name is Icy. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into this video. All right, y'all, so I said we're gonna talk about some black-owned skincare. Julia's Place, I don't know if you guys heard about it. I honestly haven't been seeing like any videos on YouTube about it but I also didn't really check <laughs> um, but they recently dropped um, a skincare line called Juvia skin so I hopped on that like immediately I think I saw it like on trend mood I don't remember when they launched exactly so forgive me for that like if I can find the launch date like I'll put it up here on the screen but I swear like it was like sometime in like September but I don't know if I'm wrong but anyways that's what's that's the point so the real reason why I purchased it, like I was really intrigued because first of all, I actually like Juvia's Place, their makeup products. I use their makeup products, so I was like, okay, like, you know. And then I was like, okay, wait, hold on. And Juvia's Place is black owned, you know. So it was like, okay. And then when I went on the site and I was just looking at, you know, some of the products that they're gonna be offering and selling, I was just like, okay, these are things that I look for when I'm purchasing skincare, so. It was a three out of three black owned moisturizing. I mean, I like the brand, so it was all of that together. So I was like, okay, perfect. Like, let me just, let me just buy it. So I bought it. <laughs> I bought a couple things. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought here. Yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about, I'll have like the price, um, the ounces, everything on the screen right here. The first thing that I wanna talk about is, mm, let's start with the, toner this is the juvia's place glyconic toner toning is not a step that i miss in my skincare routine um i'm not gonna lie i don't do it every day especially when you have like hyperpigmentation you can find toners that are really you know good for things like that i just really like toners um this toner specifically is an exfoliating toner and all you have to do is just apply it on a cotton pad and you know wipe it across your face okay I don't really have much feedback on this toner. Um, I could honestly say I don't really know if it made much of a difference for my skin. I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys. I, you know, I think it does a job, but I don't want to tell you guys to rush out and buy it. But something I do want to go ahead and let you guys know about this toner is it does leave a tingling feeling. If you're not into stuff like that, you probably won't like that, but it definitely like tingled in my skin. It wasn't that bad, so, um, I was just like, okay, whatever, that's fine. The next <laughs> item that I purchased from Juvia Skin is the exfoliating facial pads. Now, this I love, okay? Like, I just feel like these things work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, like, it comes in packs, little, um, like, little packets, um, and there's just, like, one wipe per, you know, pack in the box. And you just go ahead and, you know, um, gently glide that around across your face and things like that. 
I'm telling you guys, I'm like certain this thing works. Like, I'm convinced. <laughs> like, I'm convinced that this works, honestly, because I had like a crazy pimple on my, um, like kind of right here, like on my like areas that I'm like really porous and things like that. And it was really, really black. And I waited until like my scar healed and I started using this and I kid you not, okay, honestly, it's not completely gone, but I kid you not, like this is the reason, I'm totally convinced, this is the reason why it's like not as black anymore. Like my scar is literally fading in front of my eyes. Like, no joke. Definitely love these pads. Um, I feel like they work. Definitely an essential currently in my skincare routine and yeah, I really, really like them. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Juvia's Place Melt, Let's Melt It Off Gel Cleanser. So this is their face wash um, that they have a part of, I keep saying Juvia's Place, it's Juvia's Skin, I'm sorry. Juvia's Skin Let's Melt, Let's Melt It Off Cleanser. Now, this thing does not work at all. Hold on. This does not work for me at all. I don't care if it works for you, that's fine. But this is literal BS for me. Like, it does absolutely nothing for me. Like, when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Like, it was so bad to the point where I typically, like, when I have, like, face washes um, and cleansers and stuff, like, I'll be like, okay, this is, like, not my heavy-duty cleanser. I'll probably use this as, like, you know, my morning routine um, to wash my face in the morning. It's a little bit more gentle. And melt it off gel cleanser. I'm gonna try to find a clip of when I used this when I was trying to take off my makeup. Y'all, I was struggling so bad, like so bad. Like I had to say, forget it, like, and go get my um my belief um face wash. This was like not working at all. Then I was like, okay, let me just see if it's more like um, you know, a more gentle morning type of routine uh cleanser. No, no. No. You know, it, it doesn't melt away anything. I, the, it, it's just not it. Like, out. I'm not here for it. I'm not living for it. I don't like it. I don't feel like it works at all. Moving on. We're gonna get into some niacinamide serum. I was really happy that I found this on the site. This is the first thing I think I put in my cart and purchased. I'm just a huge fan of niacinamide serum. If you don't know the benefits of niacinamide, I'll go ahead and place them here. Definitely look into it if it's something that you're interested in. I pretty much use this damn near every single day. It's a staple in my skincare routine. Absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Juvia Skin, for coming out with this. Astonishing. The next thing that I purchased was the Hydrate and Restore, it's a glow oil. So <laughs> I actually really like this. Um, I don't use it that much, to be honest, because this thing glows, honey, okay? Like, this thing really, really glows. Like, <laughs> it's really up there. Um, I do like it, though. I feel like when I want to take that extra step in my skincare, like my, skin, my nighttime skincare routine, that's when I'll do this. It's definitely not a morning thing for me. Um, but yeah, I don't really use it that much, but I mean, I like it, you know? So I had to save the best for last. I just, I had to save the best for last. This thing is a holy grail. I don't care if you have oily skin, a dry skin, combination skin. This is the best thing that I have came across when it comes to skincare in the year of 2021 period. This is the Juvia Skin Moisturizer. It's called the Peptide and Ceramide Cream. Y'all, when I tell you guys, like, the scent is honestly, it smells like skincare. It's nothing so, it's nothing that flattering, but it doesn't like, you know, like skincare, but it's, it's, it's pretty decent. This has been the best thing I've came across literally in the year 2021 when it comes to skincare products. This is a holy grail. Like if y'all know, I think I've talked about it in one of my videos. One of my holy grails was the e.l.f. Um, mm, but it's the e.l.f. moisturizer in the blue bottle. I'll try to find a picture of it and post it here. And I still love that cream, but I just, I since I've got this, I have not used any other moisturizer. This kind of mimics 
with the Nivea face moisturizer slash the elf slash it is it's so thick like it is literally so thick and so creamy and so moisturizing and it's not oil based like it just feels so good oh my god you see how it spreads you just need a little bit like y'all this is one of them ones like you need it it's not you should want it you need it okay i just i can't i can't get past this moisturizer i mean i don't know what julia's skin i don't know what y'all did but y'all did the damn thing when you guys made this i mean this is astonishing like there's no way i can i can't even tell y'all how good this is like especially the winter time like if you have dry skin that's one thing but especially the winter time we need that more like extra moisture in our skin extra nourishment this gets the job done and some i mean i just i don't even know what to say this is not going anywhere <laughs> i don't think you know i'm gonna find something better than this it is really good it's a little pricey kind of pricey but I mean, y'all, I promise this is not one that's gonna let you down. Like, it is so good. So good. I love it. That is all I have for today. Um, those are all of the products I got from Juvia Skin. My overall feedback for Juvia Skin is honestly, I had a pretty experience so far and I'm really liking it. I do wanna get a couple other serums and things like that just to give it a try, just to see. But I think everything that I purchased, like there was not one thing, oh, actually the face wash besides that everything else was like okay like I like this so I'm really happy like if anybody knows like any other um, black owned skincare products that they would like to recommend I just kind of like want to try new stuff go ahead and let me know in the comments below but I was really excited about trying it and I'm happy I wasn't disappointed I mean of course the face wash was like it's I don't even it's beyond me but anyways besides that I feel like everything else kind of did what it needed to do I'm happy when you know things work out so again it really worked very well for me and my skin it reacted very well um, to my skin type so if anyone out there is you know a dry skin girl go ahead and try some Juvia skin you're not gonna get too far with the face wash I mean you can try it if you want to but I don't know how you're gonna, you gonna get with it because I'm telling y'all it's just not it. But that moisturizer, the exfoliant pads, the nice cinema serum, girl, stop. Okay? Like, it is really, really good. Like, I'm not gonna steer you guys in the wrong direction, I'm telling you. So, yeah, I was really impressed um, with the things that I've tried, and yeah, I'm obsessed. So, that's all I really have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be back with more stuff more things more videos more content you know what i'm saying thank you guys so much for watching again do not forget to comment like and subscribe and stay pretty bye guys